A warm welcome to Tinoy Primary School. This short video is designed to show the state of preparedness for the reopening of schools on the 28th of September 2020. It is important for all parents and learners to watch this video to get an appreciation of how we will be operating. The first step is that vehicles will drive in as usual through the entrance gate and upon entering the school gate there will be a tent for temperature checks. The school nurse will check your temperature. If the temperature is above 37,1 degrees Celsius as stated by the World Health Organization, the parent will immediately drive the child out of the school to seek medical attention. If the temperature is fine, the learner proceeds to the disinfection booth. In case the learner is not accompanied by the parent and the temperature is above 37,1 degrees Celsius, the learner is detained at the holding bay while the nurse contacts the parents to come and pick the learner from the school. At the disinfection booth, the learner first steps on the foot bath to disinfect the shoes. The learner walks into the booth, sanitizes their hands, and makes a 360 degree turn to make sure that the whole body and the bags that the learner will be carrying are all disinfected. The learner will then walk out of the booth and will be met by a member of staff who will issue the learner with a set of five masks for their use from Monday to Friday. The color codes for the masks are as follows. On Monday, they wear a maroon mask. On Tuesday, a green mask. On Wednesday, a black mask. On Thursday, a yellow mask. And finally, on Friday, a white mask. All these masks are labeled Teen World Primary School. The learner will immediately take off the, the mask that he or she is wearing when he is given a new set and wear one of those that will be issued. The learner will proceed to the classroom following the social distancing markings and following a demarcated pathway. The teacher will be waiting to welcome the learners in the classroom. As they get into the classroom, they will sanitize their hands using the non-touch sanitizing dispenser just by the door. Desks are already, have already been placed following the social distancing guidelines so the learner just proceeds to his or her desk, which is already labeled. They have their names on the desks. In case a learner becomes unwell during school hours, the learner is escorted to the holding bay. At the holding bay, the nurse will make sure that the learner sanitizes first. Then the nurse rechecks the temperature she also checks blood pressure and calls the parents to come and pick up the child. While waiting for the parents to come, the learner is asked to rest on the bed or the beds that are provided in the holding bay. During break time and lunch times, learners are asked to strictly observe social distancing under the supervision of teachers. Drop off and pick up times. Parents are advised to adhere to the stipulated drop off and pick up times. All classrooms and bathrooms will be disinfected during break time and lunch time, and all surfaces, including door handles and rails, will also be disinfected regularly. Visitors to the school are expected to comply with the school entry protocols as outlined by the World Health Organization. 
having temperature checks, wearing of masks at all times, washing of hands with soap and sanitizing. Our washing stations are non-touch washing stations. Our sanitizing dispensers are non-touch sanitizing dispensers. We at Teen World hope that this video will go a long way in ensuring the safety of both the learners and the staff in the school. We are prepared to welcome back the boys and girls and can't wait to receive them back in this their second home. I thank you.